Tucked inside this greenhouse is a collection of trees that are rare and remarkable. I think there's a lot of people out there that have no idea, number one, that these particular trees even exist, and number two, how incredibly special they are. Often called the dinosaur tree, the wallamy pine was thought to be extinct for two million years until someone stumbled upon a very small patch of about 100 of them growing in Australia in the mid-1990s. This tree itself, they found fossils of it um, from before the Jurassic period, and now to in the 90s, find the trees themselves is kind of fascinating. Rhonda Halliday takes care of these wallamy pines that arrived at Assiniboine Park four years ago. They're about 15 years old and were brought over from Australia as seedlings by a grower in British Columbia as a way to preserve and protect the species. And this is special because it's very rare to get a rare tree. And it gives us an opportunity to talk about ecosystems and, and how fragile they are. The wallamy pines will make their public debut in Winnipeg at Canada's Diversity Gardens. They will be a prominent feature inside the tropical biome at the leaf. What's nice about the wallamy pine is that it is so different from everything else that we've seen here in Manitoba that, that you might be familiar with. The tree has a bubbly brown bark that looks like a chocolatey cereal. And rather than prickly needles, these pines have flat leaves that spread out in a crisscross pattern. It looks like the tail of a stegosaurus, which again helps lend back to that whole, it's a dinosaur tree, which is really neat. Even the way the wallamy pine reproduces is fascinating. It develops male and female cones. So that's the male cone. It's not yet mature. As it matures, it will actually elongate a little bit. And in between each of these little scales, it'll start producing a very bright yellow pollen. All you have to do is touch it and clouds of pollen come out. The females are always above, so it relies on the updraft. Again, remember, they're at the bottom of a canyon normally, so it's adapted so that it will actually blow up and fertilize the female cones. The wallamy pine is still considered one of the most endangered plants on the planet. In 2020, forest fires in Australia threatened the only known population growing in the wild. At least that species is protected uh, going forward if, if there's some sort of natural disaster or, or other situation. There's a number of public gardens and botanical gardens across North America and, and around the world that have a few of these trees and we're lucky to be one of those, those institutions. The significance of this species and its survival is one of the many stories that will be shared at The Leaf, strengthening the connection between people and plants. <laughs>